Hey everybody, this is Michael Curtis Jr. here doing another little quick Studio One tutorial. And today we're going to do a little multi-track drum comp editing, I guess you would say, or comping. Um, what you see in front of you is a little thing I just recorded a couple minutes ago. Um, I just basically set a loop uh, starting at bar 2 to bar 14, so 12 bars, uh, and I, I created a... Or I, I, I put a little bass line in here, you can hear, just, just something to, for, uh, for me to track along to, just for these 12 bars for this demonstration. And then uh, what I did was uh, I decided to try out the new, uh, you know, record to layers. And, and the way you get to that is you go to view, record panel, and that opens up this panel down here at the bottom of the page. Uh, where you got overdub replace record takes so that's what I selected and then that means when I have the loop engaged once you set your loop point with these markers up here in the very top then it will just loop that section and every time it gets to the end of the loop it comes back to the beginning and it records another take <clears throat> so what I've got here is the very last take that I did which the way I did it was I did four passes through and uh, each pass, the first pass was just a groove pass, the second pass was like a slightly different groove pass, the third pass was more like open hi-hat, you know, a little louder, more energy, and then the fourth pass was just fill. So this is the fourth pass. So that's the fourth pass. And Again, I just played it you know, through the 12 bars and it looped over four times. So you're probably wondering, okay, well, how do I get to that, those takes? Okay, well, first thing you gotta do is you gotta have these uh, items in a group. So you can do that by selecting the drum tracks, which is these nine tracks for me. I don't have them labeled, sorry. It's kind of quick and off the cuff. So I'm gonna right click that, or <clears throat> I can control click will work also. And I'm gonna say um, group tracks group selected tracks. Okay, so now what that means is that when I make a selection to one, it's going to select all of them. So now if I come to the track, highlight it, right click, and you can see it says select take one, two, three, four. You could just uh, simply choose to go to that take and now it's on take one. If I play it, it's just groove. So now I just got the groove going there uh, with nothing else. Um, but anyways, with, with those tracks selected, I can actually unpack the takes and say, unpack takes to new layers. So I do that, boom. Now what we see is <clears throat> channel one, this top line, is rep the gray line is represented is your comp. And then you've got your takes down below, take one, take two, take three, take four. And since we have the channels grouped together, let me close this mixer, you can see that all the channels have the different tape takes drop down underneath of them. And it might look a little confusing, but the cool thing is that since you have them all grouped, you can uh, you can actually, when you do a selection on one, it actually does a selection on all of them. So for instance, if you, uh, you know, if you want to try doing a group or t comping some different parts together, you'd say, okay, well this was take one, so with this crosshair up, which automatically comes up, if I select that, actually I'm gonna start back here. If I select the first four bars and swipe back like this on take one, now you can see it created a cut there. And now if I go to the second four bars, we go to take two. Okay, so there's four bars there. You can see it did the alter. Uh, it actually did altered all of the tracks that were in that drum group so that they match. And now um, let's see. And if we go back to Make the last two bars of here. We'll do this high energy or the the uh, louder deal here, and we'll take the last two bars on the fill. So we've got the A groove beat second time through, third time, fourth time. If I play it through, it sounds like this.
so between those four passes that I took uh, recording, I was able to comp together uh, a part, uh, you know, a 12 bar part, you know, completely, you know, using different pieces from each, each pass. Um, if I undo this stuff, um, I should actually be able to then, since everything's still in a group, if I highlight it and hit duplicate, oh, well that's interesting. It didn't quite line up, however, I should just be able to highlight this here and hit duplicate again. And I'm not sure why it's offsetting it by the two bars, uh, but it is. So and if I select these guys, I'll just duplicate that over as well. That seems to be copying over fine. Okay, so now, now that I've got the same thing going on, if I select this and uh, do the same thing, unpack takes, let's say two existing layers, because I already had the layers. I can then do the same thing here with this set, unpack takes to new layer to existing layers. Now what's cool about this is I believe, since these are separate pieces, and this is the first time I'm really trying this, so we'll see what happens. If I take the uh, you know first uh, first time through and we'll do take one all the way until the last bar. Okay, so boom. And then we'll take take four, which is the fill. And we'll lead that into here. And then now we're moving to our second copy, which if I shrink this up a little bit, that's better. And then from here, let's go to our high energy, higher energy take. Okay, and I can take that and drag it out here. That's one, two. Okay, so anyways, this will approve the point, hopefully. So this should be our A groove. And then with our duplication of all of this, we can then construct a completely different setup, uh, you know, where we can uh, comp together separate parts. So you really could use this 12 bars to build an entire song uh, if you, you know, if you're just going through the songwriting phase. So let's see if this works. Oh, you know what I screwed up? I forgot I put the loop still on. Let me turn the loop off. I'll start it right near near, near the end. Yeah, so you can see it works. It really works perfectly. I mean, and the more obviously the more in time the drummer is. You know, uh, you know, I didn't have to go in and correct this because I just blasted it out. But you know, you could also go in and time correct and all that other good stuff. So you can see here with just 12 bars with the drums, you could expand that out and create all kinds of variations uh, based upon that using grouping and then the the multi-track comping, which is flawless. And again, also I don't need to point this out. You can also just listen to a specific take by clicking this solo button and here it'll bring up just that take. Again, really cool feature, uh, super, super easy to use. Um, probably the easiest I've ever used in this type of a scenario. And then when you're done, of course, you can, uh, I believe, just uncheck this expand layers and it'll collapse it back down showing the cuts that you made. Um, then you can even take these same things uh, since they're already in a group and you can say, you know, pack to folder. I believe there should be a way Yeah, pack folder here. And now your drum tracks are hidden away. You can completely work on the rest of your uh, song. And uh, anyways, I hope this was helpful and, uh,
Have a great uh, day.